All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another uh, Duel Links YouTube video. It's your boy Crimson slash Ross here, um, with uh, more content for you guys. Um, I hope y'all been enjoying the content so far. Um, there's a new box out. Speedroids are officially out. I'm super excited to uh, be streaming it for you guys. And yeah, um, but before we get into that, um, this video we're actually going to be focusing on. Uh, what to use your, uh, you know, your new box chips on. Um, yeah, you go in here and you see a lot of um, cards. And you might be thinking, Crimson, what do I use my box chips on? Like, what cards are good? Well, fear not, my friend. We're going to go into each of the boxes one by one. And um, I'm going to be telling y'all what cards are good from each box, like what cards are worth it, just to sort of help narrow down the choices a little bit. But yeah, if you don't know, box chips are here. They let you exchange 100 box chips for basically any card from the first 10 boxes, be it main box or mini box. So yeah, all the way up to number 10. So we're basically going to go through each one of them, and I'll tell you if it's worth it or not. So, yeah, um, but before we begin, make sure to drop a like, drop a sub if you're new, follow on Twitch, I do stream on Twitch occasionally, so yeah, um, drop a follow, drop a sub on YouTube, it really helps out the channel and the stream grow, but yeah, um, let's, I'm not gonna waste y'all's time, let's just dive right into it. So, kicking things off is number one, um, mini box, Age of Discovery, this is a 2016 mini box. And um, it doesn't look like there's anything good here. So, yeah. I mean, if you really want it, I guess Moray of Greed could be good. But um, that's pretty much it from this box. Like, nothing else really catches my eye. Like, yeah, this box is just way too old to be good. Only takeaway is Moray of Greed if you need it. But, I mean, even... Moray of Greed is not is not great in Water XCs, so you might as well skip it. But yeah, moving on to uh, the next item on our list here. The Ultimate Rising, first main box of the game, came out in 2016. So let's just dive right into it. Um, I guess Sonic Bird is alright, but like you don't really need it these days. Sphere Karibo is very good if you need it. Um, not good on ladder, but very good in legacy duels. So um, if you don't have this, definitely consider picking it up if you if you want it for legacy duels. But um, other than that, nothing else really jumps out to me from this box. So like, the only good takeaway is definitely the Sphere Karibo if you need it, or. I guess Sonic Bird, but like you don't really need this. So moving on to number two, Flame of the Tyrant, second mini box, 2017. Um, let's see if there's anything here that catches my interest. Um, nothing really good here, so. I guess you can safely skip this box. All right, Neo Impact second main a uh, second main box 2016. All right, looking at the uh, URs. Um, let's see. Uh, Senju is decent, but you don't need it. A uh, Manju is just way better. But yeah, nothing nothing good from here, so just skip it. So just skip all the number two boxes. Like, there's nothing good in them. So moving on, number three, Wonders of the Sky, third mini box. Came out in 2017. Looking at the URs, you got the Atmosphere and Desert Twister. Um, not good. Like, they're not played. Um, so yeah, just skip this one too. So Wonders of the Sky is a skip. 
third main box, Valkyrie's Rage. Uh, it came out 2017 in February. Um, let's just go through these real quick. Just looking at the URs and SRs to see what's good. Um, this box is just kind of old. So again, nothing good in here. Um, this was made, like, this box came out when, you know, like, 1800 attack beaters were, um, the norm. So that's why stuff like Dunamis Dark Witch is ultra rare, because it has high attack points, but it's bad in this meta. So skip the, skip number three as well. Moving on, number four, Land of the Titans, 2017 May. So it came out six years ago. Fourth mini box. And once again, nothing good. So skip this one. This one's also a skip. All right. Chaotic Compliance. Fourth main box. Came out April 11th, 2017. I guess Black Luster Soldier's fine if you want to build a Black Luster Soldier deck, but eh, you don't really need it. Um, let's see if there's anything here that pops out to me. Uh, nothing, nothing really too crazy here. So this one's a skip. I mean, double summon is all right in some like gimmick decks if you want it. But again, it's not the best. Okay, so moving on. Number five, fifth mini box, Dawn of Destiny, 2017 June. But yeah, um, Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys is good if you want to build a Nephthys deck. Tribute to the Doom is good, and Legacy Duels if you want to pick that up. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it from this box, just these two. But again, they're very situational, and Tribute to the Doom is only very good in Legacy Duels. Alright, fifth uh, main box, Crimson Kingdom, June 2017th. We're still in the 2017 era here. Um, let's see if there's anything that pops out here. Oh, Gozuki. Very good card in like uh, zombie decks. Like Shiranui if you want to build it. Red Eyes Wyvern, very good in Red Eyes decks. Uh, Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. Very good in Buster Blader. Consider picking it up if you know if you don't have it. And you're building a Buster Blader deck. So this box, uh, very good. Crimson Kingdom. But yeah, um, nothing too, nothing else too crazy from there. So number six, Echoes of Silence. Six, the mini box. Still in the 2017 era. But yeah. Um, again, nothing good. Silent Magician is not great. Um, anymore. But yeah, so I consider... I think you should skip the Echoes of Silence box. There's nothing great in it. Sixth main box. Still 2017. Electric Overload. So looking through the URs... Ooh. I didn't even know this card was in the game, but I really like it. Uh, Shinato, King of a Higher Plane... Um, not great, but it was Noah's ace card in the anime from Dual Monsters. Um, but yeah. Thunder, Nyan, Nyan. I like that one, but not great. Um, this one, this box is like a lot of spirit-oriented monsters, but again, not, not a great box. I recommend skipping it. Which is sad to say, because I really like this card too, but yeah, not good. I like Hino Kagosuchi, one of my favorite spirit cards. Alright, so going into number 7, we've got uh, Servants of Kings. Still in 20, uh, 2017, we're in October now. And here's where the cards start getting good. I mean, Maneater Bug, not so good, but if y'all don't have Chalice, 
definitely pick up Chalice. Very good card. Um, it's used a lot. Um, monster negates go go a long way, especially in ladder. So, out of this box, if you don't have Chalice, pick up Chalice, and I mean that. And I mean that like sincerely. This card is so freaking good. So pick it up if you don't have it. And um, draining shield and a uh, wall of disruption, fairly old cards. Not great anymore um, in the meta, but they still see like occasional use in like stall decks, but I wouldn't recommend them. But yeah, out of this box, Servants of Kings, Forbidden Chalice is a good pickup from your box chips. All right, moving on, Generation Next. Still in 2017, we're in September. All right, looking at some of the URs here, um, Horus is good in Legacy Duels, but I mean the loner decks have the card, so eh. This card's very good for searching polymerization, King of the Swamp. But um, I don't recommend it because, like, not many decks use it. But if you want it, if you have nothing else, I mean, King of the Swamp is a good pickup. And there's also Floodgate Trap Hole. Um, it's one of the Limit 3 back row. So, like, if you have all the Limit 3 back row and you want this, definitely consider it. Like, put it on your radar. Because it's, it's decent, like it has its uses. I don't need it, I already have three of it, but I don't really use it anymore, but it, it does have its niche uses. So from Generation Next, I recommend Floodgate Trap Hole. I recommend King of the Swamp if you want it, but it's completely up to you. And uh, that's it. Um, I wouldn't recommend Horus, because I mean, the loner decks and Legacy Duels usually have it, so... But yeah, moving on, number eight, we're almost done here. Uh, Blades of Spirits, mini box, still in 2017. We're in November now. Um, There's great Shogun Shien. I mean, Six Sams don't really use this. It's uh, This card's kind of power crept by uh, the legendary Six Samurai Shien, the Synchro Monster, so you don't need this. But yeah, there's nothing great in this box. I mean, um, yeah, nothing really jumps out to me. So I recommend skipping Blades of Spirits. Nothing great here. But yeah, moving on. Galactic Origin, 8th main box. Still in uh, 2017, November. Galactic Origin main box. So... Uh, looking through this, this is actually not a bad box. Because um, for the URs, you have stuff like Cosmic Cyclone, which is currently the best form of back row removal in the game because of Dingursu. Like, it can bypass Dingursu because it doesn't destroy, it banishes. So if you don't have Cosmic Cyclone, three copies, pick up Cosmic Cyclone with your box chips, and I mean that. Sincerely, if you want to do well in KC Cups and on ladder, pick this up. It's it's a staple. You need it. And there's also Into the Void. So Into the Void is an interesting card. I, I like it. Um, I use it in my Dark World deck. Um, it has its uses. If you want the if you want like more draw power in decks that can use it, like. I know sometimes Sulfa Chords can use it. I guess Rockets can use Into the Void to some extent. But it's mostly used for like Infernity, which is a dead deck, and right now in Dark Worlds. But yeah, if you want more draw power and you're looking for something that helps you draw more cards, Into the Void is a good pickup. I, I love that card. It's one of my favorites. But other than that... Other than that, um, Cosmic Cyclone and Into the Void are the only two think cards that jump out at me from the Galactic Origin box. Alright, we're almost done here. Ninth mini box, Resonance of Contrast. 
Now we're in 2018, January. Um, Red Eyes Slash Dragon is a good, very good uh, staple in Red Eyes decks. If you, you know, if you want to finish your Red Eyes deck and you're missing a uh, Slash Dragon, consider this. But other than that, um, there's nothing else. I mean, Void Trap Hole is good. Um, it's kind of like a gimmicky card to tech in, but it's not bad. Basically, when your opponent special summons a monster with 2,000 or more attack, negate the effect of one of those monsters, and if you do, destroy it. I mean, I would consider, like, Bottomless Trap Hole instead of Void Trap Hole, but, I mean, it's up to you. I just think Bottomless Trap Hole is just better. Because this is just too situational, like, too niche, well, whereas Bottomless just works on anything. And a bottomless banishes instead of destroying. So, yeah. So, Red Eye Slash Dragon is good from this uh, box, and Void Trap Hole is not bad. From a uh, Resonance of Contrast. So, the ninth main box, a uh, Primal Burst. We're in uh, late 2017, December. Wait, do we just go from. We just went from January to December. How crazy is that? But yeah, moving on. Uh, Primal Burst, ninth main box. So this one has like all the Dark World stuff in it. Um, Gaia Plate the Earth Giant is a very good pickup for like Fossil decks. I like running three of it just for the Golem Hole skill. Very good card if you want to play Fossils, but other than that, I don't recommend it. Um, Lila is good for Light Sworn decks. And um, Snow, like, um, if you want to build the most expensive deck in the game, which is a pay-to-lose deck, like, take it from me, I have it built, because I like Dark Worlds. See, I have three Snow. Um, but yeah. If you want to build Dark Worlds and you're missing Snow, definitely consider 3 Snow because you need it. It's like your searcher for a Dark World decks. But other than that, that's it from this box. Nothing else really jumps out at me. Um, Let's see. Oh, um, also Sarily, very good in Dark World decks as well. Um, so yeah, I would, um, focus more on Snow, because it's your Searcher, but Sara Lee isn't bad either. Also, Release from Stone, decent in Fossils, but I don't really like it. But yeah, Snow is good, and Gaia Plate is good. So, to sort of wrap things up here, we have now are on Rampage of the Forest. We're on 2018 March. Um, nothing really jumps out to me here, so I would recommend skipping this box. It's kind of funny, because this is the box that Hey Trunade came in, and this card is currently banned. But yeah, skip Rampage of the Forest. Nothing nothing that's worth it there. And finally, to wrap it up, Abyss Encounters. 10th main box, February 2018. And um, just to sort of look through here. Uh, Ties of the Brethren is good in Magical Musketeer decks if you want, if you want it. Uh, Mystic Piper is good in Relinquished decks. But I mean, uh, Relinquished in general is just not that good right now, so I don't recommend it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so the only thing that's actually good in here is definitely this card if you want it for Magical Musketeer decks. Ties of the Brethren. But other than that, that's pretty much it from this box. 
And yeah, that, that just about does it for um, all the boxes you can use your box chips on. You can only use it on the first 10, so keep that in mind. And how do you use your box chips? Simple. You just go to the card trader right here. You scroll left where it says exchange box chips. Open the box chips and you just pick whatever card you want. And yeah, just pick whatever card you want. Be it snow or whatever. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to drop a like. Drop a sub if you're new. Follow on Twitch if you want to, um, you know, if you want to enjoy the stream. And yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Um, yeah, peace. Peace.